these guys have been disrespecting us, stepping on our jerseys, um, talking about hanging 100 on us, doing all the rah rah, doing all the talk, but you know, we were about it today. So, could you sort of describe how that has developed among an offensive line throughout the season and then what it means when it all comes together in a day like today? Mm -hmm. Well, I think after, you know, what happened in the 2020 season, we took it upon ourselves to kind of, you know, start identifying this, this offensive line and, and building an identity that we wanted to be. And you know, starting in spring, starting in training camp, just building that, that intensity, that, you know, ability to move people off the ball and that ability to kind of become nasty, as you said. And so we've been building that all year. You know, we've been able to run the ball on a lot of teams that you know, other teams haven't been able to. And, you know, I think it showed, you know, kind of came to a – pinnacle in this game and kind of reach, you know, we, we were able to come off, move the ball, um, hit their linebackers and, and do something that a lot of teams failed to do. And that's just an accumulation of everything we've done in the offseason, um, throughout spring ball, throughout camp, and throughout the season. You know, Coach Moore and all, all the coaches did a great job of coaching us up and allowing us to do this. So, um, yeah, I'm going to be more proud of just the whole line of Lions unit. For both the uh, Jim Harbaugh has taken a lot of heat, a lot of criticism and scrutiny for not beating Ohio State and not getting this program uh, to, to where you guys are going. How does it feel for each of you to be part of the glue that gave him uh, this victory and, and this moment to, to answer some of that? Um, I think, you know, you guys should have seen him in the locker room after the game. Uh, I've never seen him more more happy, more excited. And, you know, not just for himself, but for his, his excitement towards the players. You know, how much he knows it, it means to not only the players, but the coaches and everyone involved. Um, you know, he, he's gone through some tough times. You know, he's kind of got, you know, he's, he's faced a lot of his adversities since he's been coach here. And to see him finally beat Ohio State, you know, as a team, as a unit, we knew what this team was capable of. And it all starts with him. He's done a great job coaching this team up, you know, building on what what the problems were of last year and fixing those and addressing those, bringing on new coaches. And, and yeah, he's just done a tremendous job this year. And I, I couldn't be more happy for him. Hey. Um, yeah, kind of along the, along the same lines. Um, I, I kind of missed him after the game, but I just saw him right before I got in here. And I'm just so happy for him. And, um, you know, I, I know I think he was 0 with 5 against them, but, you know, I'm so happy to be a part of his first win. And, you know, to have a top five game at home, um, you know, getting the wind, snowing. I mean, it was, uh, it was really like war out there. And I think he knew that, he understood that. And, um, you know, I, I'm just so happy for him and, and our whole team. All right, just a few more for these guys. Front center, Isaiah. For both of you, uh, was there a point in which you, you felt, you know, before the, well before the clock hit zero, that you were going to win the game and, and or a point where they started to kind of relent? Um, I think, you know, when we came out in the second half, defense started and, um, you know, they did a tremendous job there. And then the offense came out. And we only get the ball down the field. And I think that's when, from an O-line perspective, when you're able to come out after halftime adjustments, and you know, having the time to see what they're doing and being able to adjust, when you come out and you only run the ball, you take it down the field, it, it says something about their confidence in themselves. And I think that's the first time they really face adversity like that. And, you know, we just, we just continue to roll, continue to roll them. And, and I think that's the moment when you felt the tide shift from an offensive line perspective. Oh, you know, just me when, uh, when that offense scored fourth quarter, eight minutes left to go up two touchdowns, um, you know, emotions started going down. Um, you know, it was hard to, it was really hard to contain because I, I could feel it coming. I really, uh, I was so confident in our offense and our defense to get the job done. And um, you know, kind of in that moment, I knew that you know, whatever happens after this game, I think it's over. All right, we'll say about two more for these guys. Uh, in the back right, Reiner. Um, well, I think you know what, he's, what he means about the beginning for the season is you know we're just we're just getting started. It's the first time we played the Big Ten Championship in a very long time. So um, to be able to kind of say this is only the beginning after such a big win, you know, speaks volumes to how confident he is in this team. And, you know, we, we got to take it upon ourselves, like I think Kate said before, you know, we're going to celebrate this victory for Saturday, but when Sunday comes around, you know, our, our attention switches to the Big Ten Championship, and that's what we're focused on next, and so that's only thing for this team in terms of championship level play. I think that's where this team is, and I can't wait to see it. Really.